is Jeff Polzer. I'm in the Organizational Behavior Department at Harvard Business School. And I've been studying collaboration for a long time, along with culture. And so that uh, led to um, coming to this, this conference. I've known Jenny Chapman for a long time and, and have done some cultural research with her. The different perspectives today have been interesting, uh, especially connecting national culture, which is something I'm going to be talking about tomorrow in my presentation, with the psychology of culture, which Michael, Mor uh, Michael Morris and others have, have, have uh, referred to and talked about. Um, these are really different levels of analysis. I'm used to studying teams in organizations which come between the individual and the national culture. And so thinking about the mechanisms that operate um, exclusively at one level versus those that connect those levels of analysis is something that's a, a very rich research question um, and something that I need to think about more in my own research. Um, something that also comes out of that when you think about um, culture from those different levels organizationally is to say, how do you change culture? You know, is, is the individual level, the team level, the organization level a uh, more fruitful way to get at cultural change? And something that, that uh, came up in the talks today was the sequencing of that change. I think there are great research questions um, around sequencing attempts at changing culture at different levels of analysis. Um, that will ultimately have, I think, lots to say to practice because that's what leaders are, are trying to figure out as well. Um, I mean, it, 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 something that I said is collaboration. So, so one, of the, one of the cultural values you might think about is cooperativeness. Uh, so you can think about hiring individuals um, that are, are predisposed toward being what organizations often call a team player, uh, who, you know, people who will collaborate well. So you can think about the individual values they have. You can also think about inculcating or even um, incentivizing cooperation. You know, so how can you do that? Thinking about the individual and their motives and their values. You can also think about um, cooperativeness as a cultural value that spreads in a team, for example. So whoever the people are, if we get the right norms in the team, around cooperation, that can have a big impact on behavior. Um, and then national culture and something like collectivism or individualism can, can, can really come into play, especially in global teams. You know, so, so again, you, you see the same fundamental dimension of cooperativeness, say, um, or thinking about the welfare of the collective, operating at very different levels with potential different levers uh, at those levels for how organizational uh, leaders might, might try to increase cooperativeness and, and therefore you know, get, get, get more out of their collaborative efforts.